What's up guys, back with another Justice League review and this time I have the DC Multiverse Mera. Now she should go great with my pop Mera right there. As you can see, I, I like Mera. Now I saw this on Amazon and pre-ordered it like three months ago and it was set for a November 15th release, but I just got an email from Amazon saying, yay, it came early, and then it was on my doorstep like the next day, so go Amazon, or should I say, Amazonians, <laughs> get it? Because, you know, Wonder Woman is like, a, it. let's just get this review started. Starting with the front here, you see it has a nice big old window. You can see the extra hands, a spear. It also has a just sleek picture background and a nice glossy picture of Amber Heard right there. Here's one side. Here's the other side with an even bigger picture of Mera. Here's the back with some figure pics. Her little hands too. And here's Bob with UBC. Now let's get her out of the box. Oh jeez. And there she is, guys. Now, I really like the Justice League movie Mera. I mean, her suit is just so awesome looking with the green and the gold. It just looks so amazing. Now, hopefully she's just as cool in the movie as she is in her suit here, but we'll find out in less than two weeks. Anyways, let's go and get into the details. Starting with the face, we have an awesome sculpt going on here. It's super clean with very sharp details and the paint application for the eyes and mouth are just spot on on this one. Hopefully quality control is good and most figures are like this. Now as for likeness, um, kinda? Maybe? Sorta? I'll let you guys be the judge on that. Now her tiara has a nice shimmery gold to it and it's really nicely detailed as well. Now the pointed tips here are round and pretty thick too, so it's it's pretty pretty safe there. You can you could sit on this. Now her hair is highlighted with different paint shades and it's got some nice waves to it, plus pretty bendy too, so it allows for some good head movement. As for the head movement, it actually can go 360 degrees, you just kinda have to move the head out of the way there, as you can see. Kinda goes with you get the point. As for the head pivot, it's not too bad. It's not on the level of Marvel Legends though. Moving on down to Thurso, we get an amazing sculpt of her super awesome suit. Just look at all the micro details sculpted in her suit there. It even extends into her arm there and the gold that they use for is just so nice. And here's a back for you, uh, let, let me move the hair out of the way first. I mean just look at that back, it's so highly detailed and it's fully painted all the way to the top even though the hair actually covers it, unlike my Hella figure here where they cheaped out on the back. Now back to the front, I have to point out the skin tone paint they used on the chest up here. Now it looks like this torso is actually molded in this green color, which means in order to get that to look skin tone, they would have to have multiple layers on it. And the thing is, if you mess it up, it'll look something like this. See how my Hella figure has these little green little thingies? It just looks terrible. But as you can see on the Mera figure here, they put a really thick layer of paint on there and it looks smooth, it looks skin tone, it's crisp, it's sharp, there's no bleeding edges or anything. I mean, they did a really good job here. I'm pretty impressed. Now as for the articulation, the arm does a complete 360, but it does get hindered by the shoulder armor up here, so it can only go so far. Now the bicep twists fully around, as does the forearm and the hand, but no hand pivot. Now she has a decent torso pivot as well. Here's full forward and full back. From the front, full forward and full back. And from the back, full forward and full back. She does have a huge notch cut out here though. And she has a nice super smooth torso pivot as well. Moving on down to the legs, the amazing sculpt continues. Just look at all those micro details and that gorgeous gold paint, it just looks amazing. And here's the bottom of the legs for you. I'm really digging these boot protrudes right here, they look pretty awesome. Plus it looks like she's rocking the Wonder Woman heels too. Now as a quick note here, take a look at this box art. If you look at the top of the leg joints, on the box art they actually show the little joints there as you can see, but it looks like they molded over it completely in the final product. Here's the back side. And here's an Amazon picture of the back end there. As you can see, they molded over that too. Really glad they did that. Good design choice for the final product. Now for the articulation, she can actually do the full splits. And it actually overextends too, as you can see here, which is really rare to find in figures like these, male or female. Now her leg goes decently forward and pretty far back. But it does start to angle the farther back you go. Her thigh does a full 360 degree turn but her knee is only single jointed and doesn't quite make 90 degrees. Her ankle does move up and down, that's full up, and that's full back, but there's no side to side movement like Marvel Legends. Now there's a really cool design feature that you may not have noticed. If you notice on other figures here, they always tend to have some type of marking down here. On Hela you can see there's a marking on her thigh. On Rogue here, you can see there's another marking on her thigh as well. On the Yellow Ranger here, it's actually on her bouquet. But going back to Mera here, you'll notice that there's nothing on her thighs, there's nothing on her booty, there's nothing on her back. Why? Because they hid it inside her hair. 
I mean, look at that. That's a slick move. Good job, DC. Moving on to the accessories, it comes with a spear here, as you can see, and it's about as plain as it can be. There's no paint, there's barely any detail. It's soft and flexible. It fits in either hand, though, but it ends up getting held at an angle, as you can see here. But they made up for the spear with these awesome hands. Now, it's slightly transparent, as you can see, with a little bit of a light blue gradient right on the edge here to give it that water look. You simply just pop the hand off here, like so, and then stick the other one, oh, wrong side, and then stick the hand on, like so, just get it in there, and now she looks like Elsa. Now they are on the heavy side, so you have to compensate. And now let's bring some other female figures in for some comparisons. Here's Hella, and she's, whoa, she's big, and, okay, you know what, movie magic, that's better. You guys seriously have no idea how long this took to set up. A long time. I still need to finish Mantis. And let's go and bring her pop version in too, just for fun. And her Justice League friends. We got Wonder Woman. And Tax Suit Batman. Yes, Flash, you can join too. Well guys, she is an awesome figure. Super detailed, well sculpted, and she just screams quality. Now I usually don't like DC Multiverse figures, but she is an exception. Anyways guys, if you like this video, if you could drop a like down below, that would be super awesomely appreciated. And if you want more figure reviews, especially Pops, go and hit that subscribe button too and you'll get a whole lot more. Anyways guys, thank you for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.